This guy simulated an ant colony for 100 days. It's a queen ant, who in this video will be giving birth to an entire colony. And they're going to be put Slay to the test queen. my simulations of real world events. But currently, she's alone. And she needs she to pay for her eggs no. until they hatch into worker ants. Just like and Adam. Thankfully, it didn't take very long until just that happened. The first worker was born. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. 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 Like, Dude, why is the ant the same size as the queen? That took five days. How did she even get pregnant. Yeah, how does that work, actually? They just keep pooping out babies. I thought one of the workers, like, turns into the male and then, like, gets her. I don't know. We'll we'll, fi we'll, fi we'll find out. We'll find out. There's a lot to discuss. That's what you mean by right. that. Let's just start by day one. They these do it once in their lifespan. A species of ant that has these massive mandibles to cut their prey in half. But they're also absolutely massive compared to normal ants and the oh workers gosh. are almost the same size as the queens. And in the world of ants, the workers have only one purpose. To serve the queen. Workers do almost everything for the queens, including cleaning her and even caring for the go ahead worker but i want to make my colony grow extra fast and you do that by feeding them food and since it's so small with just two ants, pizza let's just start with a single drop of honey hopefully they like oh, it nice. so i slid the drop of you think it's organic the for the ants to eat and almost instantly the Ooh, worker went up to glucose investigate this she's starving thing. she smelled around go ahead girl second, but then mm. went back to the queen to report the findings the worker is yes, able to sister. communicate with the queen by rubbing its antenna against her oh so yeah the mandibles how would you guys describe honey like that's the first food that this ant has ever seen in its entire life and it's just like mm, mm, something sweet it's going up to the queen it's like i found food mom i found food just imagine as a baby your first time actually trying sugar it's like oh that is actually kind of crazy that that thing is a baby it's five years old like imagine a baby being the same size as his mom after five days imagine you as a baby cleaning your mom yeah but it's not a baby anymore in ant years that thing's an adult now five days it, it probably the thing probably lives one week it probably has two days left before it dies, guys. Ant years to human years. Queen ants can live for 30 years? What in the Sigma? Nah, okay, I'm done with brain rot. 30 years? That She's old. She could drive legally. She could date legally. It releases some pheromones signaling that it found some honey. And after the queen gave the go-ahead, the worker traveled back to the honey. But instead of <laughs> eating it, the worker actually knocked the little plate no! over it. And then no! No! The you the clumsy girl. The 10 minutes. Yeah, she didn't even try to eat it. Actually. Queen ant cut what off his head. Dummy. The ant did this for a reason. When a colony is this small, the queen will feed the workers by regurgitating its body tissues into the Hey, yo! The colony I did not know that. Food for now. I was going to have to wait till more ants Take my credit card. They wanted extra food. So that's exactly what I did. There were Day 38. 38? But they multiplied. A lot more apparent. Two of them would always stay by the queen to make sure she was safe, while the other two body would guards. watch after the eggs and guard the entrance. Now, this is a Genius. colony that should accept my food offerings. And this time, I'm not just going to feed them a puny drop of honey. It's time for some live prey. Let's go. Everyone say hello to flightless fruit flies. Quite literally, the most depressing They're animal. They're literally just called walks. Not only are they absolutely minuscule, but it's a fly that can't fly. Fly. Embarrassing. Well, I honestly didn't know that ants hunt other insects. I thought they just ate plants and like leaves and grass. You didn't know about the ant wars? Well, I thought they attack other ants just for, you know, territory sake, but I didn't know that they actually hunt and eat food like that. They're just like us. They're omnivores. They eat both plants and animals. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Wait, so Alec, what, what did you think happened when you left your pizza out and they're eating your meat lover's pizza with the, the beef on it, the cheese? You thought they were only picking the crust? Well, I didn't know that they hunted animals is what I'm saying. They eat meat. They will also steal the larvae from other colonies sometimes. That's probably like boba tea. <laughs> Dude, ants are savage. I think my my prediction is they're going to take over the world in like 100, 200 years. Harry Green's ant colony? Not his. The oh. trillions and trillions of ants in the world. Well, there maybe. he took over Brazil. There are 20 quadrillion ants on planet Earth right now. Do you see what I'm saying? We're not, we would not win that war. He so, would lose. <laughs> we are outnumbered quite a bit. Harry Green, if you want to burn these ants at the end of the video, we wouldn't be opposed. All right, let's get back to it. You had one <laughs> job and you can't do it. All right, it's a pretty simple process. So first of all, I got this tube with the flightless fruit fly inside of it. And basically, I'm just going to go. Bro's and literally playing God. And carefully Why doesn't he give them a bigger space to live? I don't think they're going to kill it. They're too tiny right now. Hopefully this goes better than the honey. And yeah, basically the fly instantly Ooh. ran Ooh. into the ant's tube. So there we go. Oh, the ant sees him. Now, oh, they're the going full so mode. Small, full attack mode. Seconds, it actually went unnoticed, hiding amongst the top of the <laughs> enclosure. But it didn't take <laughs> I'm long an ant. I'm one of you. The ant Hide and seek. Jaws and snapped at the ah! Oh. Quickly, the other workers started to notice. Okay, this and ant is crazy. Oh. Ant That's like me with sushi. Look at their jaws. They're like clamps. And boom. Bang. Whoa! Whoa. 
not alive anymore. And the fly slowly wow. got taken to the back of the tube to be stored. <laughs> that fly is definitely still alive. The They're putting him in the food, brig. I let them grow even more. And oh boy, was the tube starting to get crowded. Now. Wait, okay, maybe this is a dumb question, but I know we're cutting a lot of days in advance, but I haven't seen a baby ant. Do they start out as full grown adults? I don't think so. I think that the, the queen is supposed to like poop out little uh, like larvae thing and then eventually they kind of hatch. Yeah, but do they hatch tiny? Do Are they just like tiny little babies? How like a human hatches and it's like a, a tiny version of a, of a person. No, I don't think so. I think they grow to the size that they're at right now within the egg and then they break through the egg. I don't think so. I looked it up and they go from their pupil stage fully developed and in their adult size. So when they're in a pupa, they're still technically like in the egg they're basically like little snakes growing inside of the egg but they pop out full size wow i will still not give adam credit for that because i don't like him but he was right let's go he probably puts it on his patreon with three more workers and one more about to hatch and while this is great for my colony as you can tell the tube is getting extremely cramped some of the ants can't even bigger, walk around bigger, so i'm gonna have to move bigger. these guys into a new home but here on the Terra green channel we're not just gonna go online and buy an ant nest walmart oh no 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 walmart no he's gonna build it out a brick which i'm gonna turn oh. into an ant there nest. we go yeah i'm not kidding Whoa. basically is he gonna chisel I started using a hammer and <laughs> oh my gosh, he's a Greek Whoa. god. On the brick. You see, ant colonies usually like okay, to have Michelangelo. Like these little tight crevice areas in their nest because it lets them store different things like eggs, food, and trash in each one. After I finished carving, I gave the whole thing a nice blue paint job. Okay, a and finally, I covered it with a clear acrylic sheet. And the best part is, is this little hole I made right here, which I can go and squeeze water down into this sponge. And this will just make oh, the nice. humidity across the whole enclosure correct because apparently ants like wetness. Is that is that still small to you guys? Um, it does seem a pretty bit, small. But it is a nice upgrade. It's kind of like when you're starting a family. You get a little condo starter home, and then when you get a bigger family, you get a whole farm. Is that your end goal, Jack? You want a farm? That's what you got to do, right? <laughs> okay. That's what they do in Farmville. <laughs> Who taught you this? The Bible. All righty. Here is the beautiful <laughs> peregrine ant nest, which is now ready for the trap jaw ants. Using some tubing, I put one end of it onto the nest and the other end onto the Probably tube. hurts so bad if one of those ants one of the snips your hand. And decided to walk down the tube. <coughs> 12,000 no likes and we'll get led, one to but it took snip at decision to explore. Shut up, as Alec. we know, it led straight <coughs> Bless to the you. Nest. The worker looked super excited and explored oh God. all around Let's the go! Place. It was the perfect place for the colony to move to. So she traveled out of the nest and went straight up to the queen to report its findings. <laughs> all right, now that the ants... New home acquired! Nest, in order for them to move in, I have to make this one super appealing so then they all want to come over. And I've got a couple things I'm going to do, but first of all, I've got a tube of sugar water, which I'm just going to go and plug mm. in. Sugar water? Like I do some nasty yeah. things for some sugar water. Clear acrylic sheet for now with this little I guess that's what they'll feed on. You see, ants like their nest is very dark inside. So I'm using this oh. red acrylic because it blocks out pretty much Good all idea. the light, but still lets me see smart. inside a bit. Finally, I just wicked my smart. bright studio light at the tube so they'd be more inclined to move. And it didn't take very long. <laughs> he's he's flash them. Banging them. Dude, this is actually crazy. He's he's Terra God. He's putting the sun on them and like forcing them to move. I can't believe he trapped them in that little tube for 40 40 days. They couldn't move. They could only walk in circles for 40 days. A new nest. Eventually, every ant knew about the new home. And while some grabbed the remaining eggs to move, others, like this worker, escorted the queen through the tube to the new nest. Mm. I decided to keep the red acrylic screen on while they're adjusting. And as you can see, they were definitely very active inside. So I left them alone oh, wow. another whole 10 days. Oh my when gosh. I came back, Whoa. Not only did another Whoa. Whoa. Hatch, the whole colony Is was now poop? functioning even more smoothly. Yeah, what are, what are like they even supposed to do in there? There's nothing to do in there. I think all the little rocks are from the other place. They, they probably drug them in. Ants like to build their home, right? Like they like to dig into a tree or whatever it might be to build an actual home. They can't do that inside of a no, brick. No, 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 no. They they go into the cracks. They they like to live in the cracks. They don't build. They don't like to build their own homes. They do it because they have to. There's ant hills, and then they they dig underground. I think Alec is technically correct, but if they, I mean they physically cannot do that because he put them in a brick. So I don't think that they can make a home in a brick. So that's why he pre-did it for them. So there's nothing for them to do. They're just all walking around. It's like a club penguin igloo house with nothing in it, and just the boys chilling. That's a crazy reference. <laughs> well, technically it's the girls. Busy doing They're all something. female. They even 
play, play sisters. To keep the queen and Pop off queen inside of. And this is where it gets fun because now that the ants have their own little nest, I can build them a bunch of different outworlds of different environments. Ooh. There we go. Hunt for food inside of, and as you can see, I've got the first little outworld right. Oh. This is actually Minecraft different biomes. World, I want to keep I it simple like it. by just laying down some orange sand across the whole enclosure. Then I put in some rocks and a little cactus, which was kind of. I wonder if he's gonna put a predator in there. And even though I was wearing these gloves, it kept poking me, and uh, yeah, oh. it kind of hurt. Anyways, finally, oh. the most important part is this stuff called Fluon. Basically, it's a liquid that what? you dab onto a cotton ball and rub across the top of the enclosure. This stuff will basically oh, just drown so they can't get out. The top of the enclosure. I thought so he was chloroforming the ants. Not escape, no matter what. After the desert enclosure was done, I connected the tube from it into the nest so the ants could go there. And soon enough, I saw a worker come out into the tube, and of course, Ooh, she made her way new portal. The desert Ooh. World. That first ant has to be so brave. Or do you think they just say like rock paper scissors shoot for who goes through that tube? Out of just imagine, right? Just imagine that like you and Alec, you guys are just chilling in your house, and then one day a giant tunnel opens up in your window. Are you going through it? <laughs> I'm going in. I tried to convince Alec to go first. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. We'll crawl in together. Yeah. That'll be right behind <laughs> me. We'll go butt to butt. That would be insane. We have to get every angle. Make sure no no funny business is going on. Guys, if this video gets 69,000 likes, we should live for 100 days in an ant enclosure. Start to explore all around it. Now the reason for why I built this outworld. I want to test the trap draw mandibles to see no! if they take down prey bigger than them. I'm going to put a in oh. here. So oh, without yeah. wasting any time, I dropped the cricket. He was testing in, on his finger. It didn't take very what? long until the cricket came across past. Oh my gosh. Fights back. I was going right for it. Hairs inside of their jaws to detect when prey is within striking distance. It lunged at that the cricket. cricket does not care. That, that oh, got him. Like oh, he just snapped his booty. Times, Fight back, Cricky. All of the shots were missing. In fact, it was taken so long. Cricket <laughs> yeah. made its way into the Oh, he made it. Yeah. All the way into He's the about to get the queen. He's going for the base. queen. Now, it wasn't just get him. The colony needed to take down this cricket Bro. in order to make sure oh. that he could get hurt. While the cricket frantically ran this around, is awesome. almost all of the workers were taken. It is an aw. That's a oh, poor cricket. I feel bad for him. Get that cricket. They're doing zero damage. This worker here really put in some leg to line up her shots. And when she oh, right for the head. She perfectly got a hold oh! of the cricket. Oh! And his I name was John Ant. Moving. Yes, it's extremely brutal, but the colony had now successfully eliminated the threat. Uh, and so uh, that's kind of sad. Anyways, over the next few days, They're I continue gonna eat to it. monitor the colony to ensure their eggs. That is cold. insane. Imagine you're that cricket and you get dropped in there. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you got a bunch of blind ants just chomping at you. And you're just like, you're, probably, you're trying to play dodgeball with them. That would be like if we dropped you off like in, a, in, a, in the jungle. And like, and they're like crocodiles trying to get you? No, it, yeah, it, there's it, lots of crocodiles and gorillas. It'd be more like if you dress me up as a burger and drop me off at McDonald's. You think grown people are going to try to eat you? It's a crazy world out there. <laughs> what? It's a crazy world. You you don't see, you haven't seen people when they're hungry. Fine. And even fed them a bit more flightless fruit flies until finally it was day 97. The colony now had 12 workers and of course the queen. Let's go. But I did actually notice over in the corner he of should the name nest, them all. one of the ants had curled up oh. and had died. It's likely that this no. day here was one of the founding oh. workers. What happened? Sometimes those that first ants only have that a lifespan of a month or two. Anyways, despite the wow. dead ant, the Poor colony guy. was actually still thriving. And because of that, I, I wonder if they eat oh, the He's just laying there dead. Entire new outworld to be built. Because as you can see, they kind of just turned the desert into like a trash dumping ground. So I got out the enclosure <laughs> and started building. For this enclosure, I'm literally making the floor out of just this fake grass material that is nice and bright and okay. green. And for the decorations, I'm I keeping like it. it very simple with just these two little pieces of bark. And finally, I just hooked Keep up some simple. tubing so the ants could access the new plate. I really want him to make one of the outworlds an actual like, like skinny ant farm. So like what Alec was saying is where they can actually like dig down and make a new home. That would be so cool. Mm, I like that. What um what insect do you think he's gonna fight next? I think it'll be a spider. I want a praying mantis. Ooh, praying mantis would destroy him. I want a scorpion. Put a scorpion in there. That's not the right biome, but yeah, maybe. I didn't want I don't care. Them, though, so I gave the colony a few days to explore it on their own. And all of the ants were fine on day 98 and day Dang, 99. Dang, day 99? I came back on day 100 to just a single ant in the nest. What? I was really confused. Where did they go? they were all just exploring the outworlds or something. So I checked the desert and nothing was there. Then I checked the grassy what? outworld. Still, they gotta be there. Ant. But then I found Ooh. it. The tiniest Ooh. gap. No! Acrylic. 
barely visible, but it was just big enough no. for every ant to be able to escape through it overnight. Except for Except the one. one. And this wasn't Bruh. just any ant inside of here. It was the queen. Queens don't just leave no. the unless other ants escort them. So she was here what? all alone on day 100. Is she dying? She was on day one. What? This is seriously Are they going to come back for her? Had such cool plans That's kind of poetic. But I can't find a single worker ant literally anywhere. I checked all around the table. I figured there was only wow. one right thing to do. Ha. So I got a cotton ball. I scooped the queen up onto it and put her in. And I ate meat. it. <laughs> she had raised the start of a colony all by herself once. So she should be able to do it again. Let's reset the day counter and do this one more time. They literally all abandoned their queen. Those are the worst worker ants of all time. Does one of them just like turn into a queen? Is that what happens? They started their own colony. They had enough of her tyranny. Dang, that's messed up. I didn't know that was possible. I thought that they were like queen bees where they would literally die for the queen. They wouldn't just abandon her. They ditched that queen so fast. They said, we're all going to Chipotle. You want anything? No? Okay, see ya. We're going to go get some milk. They all went to get milk and they never returned. Well, guys, that was crazy. Uh, Don't be like a worker bee. I mean, don't be like a worker ant. Be like the queen ant and stay forever by subscribing and clicking this next video.